Andy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, uh, like I said, uh, we really hit it off right away. And uh, we got to be good friends. And uh, even long after he had left. And he came back, incidentally, and uh, did guest shots. So to keep the ratings up, I suppose, and it worked. And, um, and the, we used to go out in his motorhome. I had a motorhome, too. And, but he had a great big one, and uh, he had uh, a rack on the back with, for trail bikes. We would get in the, the motorhome, and we would drive out to a hunting club that Andy belonged to, and uh, Jack Dodson and, uh, and Andy and uh, Lee would, would shoot. They would go shoot to skeet or whatever, or they'd actually hunt, and I don't hunt, so I just sat in the motorhome and waited for them to be done. And then we went and played with the, the motorcycles. There were a, a acre, acre upon acre of open territory and roads and trails and stuff. And uh, we spent a lot of time together and had a lot of fun. Ron, of course, didn't stay on with uh, the cast of, of Mayberry RFD, but I got a chance to uh, meet him and work with him. And I remembered they had a, um, they had a backboard on the set, on the stage, sound stage. And uh, that was put in there just for Ronnie. And, um, and we shot baskets. We played horse and stuff, you know, on, on the stage. And played the banjo and the guitar and stuff. And it was a good place to work. It was fun. And I remember uh, going away, uh, having worked with Ronnie and thinking, what a great kid. Boy, his parents must have, did, must have done something right. You know, he was a great kid. I wonder what ever happened to him. <laughs> Didn't go anywhere. Frances, oh, I liked her so much. Uh, but she was this actress, you know, and I think that she wanted to be known uh, the way some of her contemporaries were known as a, this uh, theatrical um, actress, you know. And, but she had gotten this job as playing Aunt B and became famous for it, you know. And she didn't really appreciate it that much, I don't think, until later on in life. And then she uh, cap capitalized on it, you know. She, she had fun with it, but she always probably wanted to be a more, a more serious actress, you know. And, but she was a very nice lady and very sweet. I loved her, and I loved her replacement, Alice Ghostly, who was a very funny lady, you know. George, I was a great admirer of his. You know, he created that character. And uh, he was terrific, you know. And then, uh, and then Jim Neighbors came along, and he was funny, too, and the two of them together were hysterical. They're just these out-and-out -out rubes, you know. <laughs> and, uh, you know, but with hearts of gold, of course. Uh, that was that was a terrific. He he got all the laughs that were on the page. That's for sure. Good actor.